Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Indianapolis, Indiana, with a frauditor who decides to film inside the Social Security Administration. And, well, he had been trying to do it the previous day, but was warned not to do it. He just didn't want to listen to it. Well, typical frauditor, does, frauditor doesn't want to listen to anybody except for other frauditors. At any rate, he finds himself getting arrested because he's asked to leave and he refuses to do so. And well, out come the handcuffs. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go, thing. Rubbish is yesterday. Well, at least he found a sign that says that uh, filming is prohibited in there, but is he going to listen to it? Absolutely not. Because we all know that uh, no matter how many signs you put up and no matter how well detailed they are, even if they have the statutes on there, they're going to still say it's unconstitutional, even though the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not exactly covered in the Constitution. Which, filming is not covered in the Constitution, so, well, uh, that's a little detail these idiotic auditors try to uh, overlook. I mean, dang you, Tenth Amendment. When, you, when are you going to be taken out of the Constitution just like the 18th Amendment? But the 18th Amendment is still there. It's just enacted because of a, another amendment. Yeah, the 21st Amendment. The 19th Amendment started the Prohibition Era, and the 21st Amendment ended it with the nullification of that other amendment. But it's still in there as a reminder of how stupid things can get. Oh, they're on the left. Yeah, that's the BS they try to say. Gives him the right not to let me record when it clearly says I can record in there. Um, no, it doesn't, dude. That's just a gross misinterpretation that you frauditors uh, put forward. And it uh, just keeps making you guys look incredibly stupid and uh, really questions your ability to read anything. Morning be the same clown. This is crazy. <coughs> no constitution in there. This idiot just stands there for the next, what, 10 minutes? So I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up because you know what? Nobody wants to watch him standing around for 10 minutes doing absolutely nothing. Many, many minutes later. What is wrong with these clowns? What's up, buddy? Hello. How are you? Yeah. What's up? He's all irate because he took a picture of me. So I told him, don't delete that picture because I'm going to do an Apple request on his phone and get that picture that he took of me oh, off of his phone. What the frauditor is talking about right here is called APRA. Uh, that is simply the Indiana version of a FOIA request. Good luck. I'm a private citizen. You work for the, you work for the public. You're not a private citizen. How you doing, sir? That's where you're mistaken. 
you don't understand the Constitution, you don't understand our rights, right? Is that how it goes? You're 100% right. I know I'm right. You guys proved it yesterday. Yeah. You wouldn't even identify yourself. That's right. Why? Because you don't have to? Let me see your ID. No. I don't have to show you my ID. I don't have to show you mine. Yeah, you do. You're a public employee. That's how dumb you are. Okay. Go in there and sit down at your desk and be a good boy. Observe and report. I'll tell you what, put your hands behind your back. Oh, your job is only to observe and report. Uh, no, dumbass. There are certain security guards that do have the authority to arrest your sorry ass. And you know what? It's best that you learn that now instead of following down the path of, uh, Whichever frauditor it was that started that whole BS on that topic anyway. Because you know what? They're always freaking wrong. You got to be all rough with me like that? Am I resisting? That's all right. You're committing a civil rights violation. And there you go. Uh, a sign of stupidity right there on following that script because you obviously have no idea what the hell you're talking about to begin with because you are just only following a script that some other idiot put out there that didn't even fully understand what civil rights are to begin with. And that's exactly what happens when an idiot follows an idiot. They lead themselves nowhere. I wasn't being disorderly. I told him not to delete that picture. Have a seat. I got it all recorded. Don't stop my video. Do not stop my recording. Don't stop my recording. Do not stop my recording. Do not reach for your pocket. I can reach for whatever I want. I went for a metal detector to come in here, didn't I? Dumb fuck. Get the fuck out of here. You're going to be fired. So I hope you got money in the bank, especially enough for me. Have a seat. Take a deep breath and relax, all right? Relax. The reason why I'm the handcuffs is because he's retaliating. And he stopped my video. All right. Just relax. Don't it's not all right. right. I didn't say it was all right. I said I need you to relax. Don't he committed on. two civil rights violations. And you know what? I am just going to end the video right here because... Well, this guy is completely insane, and he continues to spout off a lot of nonsensical garbage throughout the rest of this video. But hey, you get the overall point that this guy is a complete moron. I mean, all he does is follow a script that other people wrote for him. I mean, that much is certain. I mean, the guy has no education whatsoever. And I'm talking about anything beyond the second grade right now because this guy is just flat out stupid. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.